guys welcome back to the channel this is gonna kill a lot of people but nobody's really talking about it i'm not sure if you ever heard about the h5n1 people call it bird flu but nobody's really talking about it that much but it's spreading fast and things are happening take a look at this video i'll stay on this topic for a minute but that's to me the most the worst current example of the u.s government just completely i will use the word lying to the public saying that H5N1 is low risk. H5N1 is a very high risk of the worst disaster our species has ever experienced. When that virus is human to human transmissible by natural means or by deliberate bioengineering, it will kill most of us. The collapse or the virus will kill most people on earth most likely. That's not low risk, that, that's high risk. And it's inevitable according to biologists. H5N1, which you on one of your recent programs called bird flu. That's the old name. You shouldn't call it bird flu because it's not avian flu anymore. It's spreading in mammal populations around the world. It's in dairy cows. Right. So you heard that guy right there in that video. What's happening with it right now? H5N1 is in the animal kingdom. And cases of the H5N1 have been detected in hundreds of animal species including many that live within close proximity to humans. Now, in addition to the cattle, the poultry, and common wild birds, such as ducks and pigeons, the virus has been found in over 200 mammal species, including cats, dogs, pigs, squirrel, goats, opossums, raccoons, animals, and uh, these are used in fur farming, such as minks and foxes as well. So there is a problem, but nobody's really talking about it. The EFSA report highlights the risk for these species to serve as a bridge host between animals and humans, facilitating the evolution of the virus to a more dangerous strain. Now, pigs are of particular concern. They are known as mixing vessels because they can be infected by bird, pig, and human influenza viruses. Now, researchers consider live animal markets and large-scale industrial livestock operations, both of which house large numbers of immunocompromised animals in confined quarters to be the most likely epicenter of the next pandemic. So nobody's really talking about this, but this is mixing, a serious mixing with animals, and these are animals that are around us all the time. Birds, pigeons, you're talking about pig that people, when it comes to Christmas, everybody wants to cut a pig, eat a ham, you know, um, opossums, I think you heard about that one. That one, I think, is the same thing that we, we, we catch here in the Caribbean that we call maniku or what I could be wrong. You'll have to let me know. So there's so many things that are going on that nobody's talking about this, and this is on a large scale. Now, safety concern, which are food safety concerns, uh, because it, the avian flu can spread to humans via infected milk, the meat, or the eggs. Scientists have detected the virus in dairy milk and in meat, and a recent FDA investigation found that one in five samples of pasteurized milk in the U.S. grocery stores tested positive for the virus. Down here, we have cattle. We can get our milk, stop importing the dirty milk. We can get eggs down here. We have our fowls, but our yard fowl, what or not, we can get our eggs. People need to do better, right? U.S. federal agencies claimed if cooked properly, animal products are likely safe to eat, even if they originate from infected animals. However, some epidemiologists disagree and warn that pasteurization of milk may not neutralize viruses sufficiently to prevent them from infecting humans. They also urge, they also argue that the USDA and CDC have presented no evidence that avian flu cannot survive pasteurization in milk. So there is a problem, guys. You got to pay attention to these things that we are importing. We have a lot of these things that we can use, but we seem to like to import stuff. This is serious, serious, serious business going on here. According to the World Health Organization, who nobody really can trust these days, nearly 900 people have been diagnosed with bird flu globally, and more than 460 have died. That means the virus fatality rate among humans is around 52% compared to COVID's current fatality rate of less than what? 0.1%, an early pandemic or pandemic fatality rate of about 20%. Now, experts are warning that if it begins to spread among humans, the avian flu or influenza could be 100 times worse than COVID. 
Well, according to bird flu researcher, this virus has been on top of the pandemic list for many, many years and probably decades. And now they said we are getting dangerously close to this virus potentially causing a pandemic. Remember disease X and the next pandemic? Just be warned, just be careful. I'm just giving you information that you may need to know. So when the time comes, nothing will come as a surprise to you. So stay on top of this one. We're going to keep on top of it and continue giving you more information. All right?